What's good everyone, welcome back once again to another quick tutorial on Android and Firebase. We have already discussed lots of other stuff and now we will see how to upload an image to our Firebase storage. So without further ado, let's see how to do it. Okay, let's open Android Studio. As you can see, I have already made a layout. I have a button that goes by the name BDN Choose and I also have an image view and uh, another upload button which would upload our image now let's switch to main activity java file before we start the code we need to go to the tools menu like we did before and then firebase and from the list you uh, you have to choose the storage and then click the link then it will take you to your default browser and sign in using your google account then I choose Firebase. Okay, now get back to the Android Studio. Uh, provide your database a name. I'm not going to change the default name. Now click on Connect to Firebase. This will connect your uh, app to the Firebase. Okay, now we have connected. Now uh, click the button below, which will add the cloud storage. Click on Accept Changes and. Uh, after a while things will be good I hope okay everything is good now let's get back to our browser and go to console then from there um, choose your database then from the left tab uh, go to the storage then I click on get started okay uh, from there, switch to the rules tab and edit this part and change that to true. This will remove all the restrictions so we can upload the image without any hassle. Okay, now everything is set. And now let's get back to our studio. Let's uh, create objects for our controls in our layout and also create a storage reference now let's match every control from our layout using find view by id function if you don't know about the find view by the function i'm sorry function um, please refer back to our um, old videos because i have discussed about that function in one of those earlier videos so feel free to check them uh, okay also feel free to post if you can follow along uh, I'm going kind of quick here let's uh, write a method for selecting the file uh, we are making use of the indents to get it done now we have to uh, set type here we are going to set it as image okay uh, let me do this real quick so we just click one okay all right now uh, click Control O or uh, I mean hit Control O or Command O if you're using a Mac. This will uh, sugar a menu from where you can select methods to override, and from there choose on Activity Result and uh, and follow me. Uh, let me do this real quick. If you are having doubt, uh, feel free to refer to the docs because every indent or everything that I am using in this code, uh, you can find it on the Google Docs. I mean, not, not the Google Docs, the um, official Firebase documentation or Android documentation. You can easily find that there. And these are basic stuff. So I hope that I don't need to uh, stress on, stress much there because uh, I hope you can easily understand now if you are seeing uh, red 
if you're seeing your URI marked with red or URL or any other class marked with red, you have to hit option and return or alt or return to uh, import the class. Oh, please bear that in mind because it will come handy in many occasions. So please note that. Alt and enter will import the class. Okay. Now let's write uh, two more function, one for uh, for the file uploader and another one for getting the file extension so that we can store the file with extension. Okay. Now we are making use of the URI component to uh, fetch the extension from the file, which is the easiest method. Using Condom Resolver, we can uh, easily obtain the extension by passing URI as argument. So it's very easy. Now this will return the file extension. Okay. Now let's write the code for file uploader method. Before we start, uh, we need to set the storage reference. We haven't defined it earlier, so we need to do that right now. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Let's write the code for our file uploader method. All right. Now, what I'm actually doing here that I'm actually um, giving our file a name. I'm making use of the time, the extension, and everything to give our file a unique name so that we can avoid redundancy and duplication. Okay. Now, click on the upload link there and scroll down, and you can see. Uh, the code for uploading file down there so copy uh, that code from there and paste it to our file uploader function and also don't forget to replace these red parts with relevant relevant information and uh, in, in, in some part you need to uh, use the combination keyboard combination alt and enter to import the classes okay which will clear the the red markings in our code now I am I'm writing code for a toast which will show that our file has been uploaded successfully now let's build our app and let's see if it's working or not okay um, gonna take a while okay now we have our app everything is ready I guess let's pick a file I have already imported some files in here yeah let's click upload and you can see the toe saying that image uploaded successfully let's pick another one and let's hit upload and this time I'm here I'm tapping the upload button multiple times and you can see that the image is getting uploaded multiple times and this is a problem and this is a problem because if you check the database now you can see that multiple copies of the same image have been uploaded to our database this is a problem if, especially if you're running on limited storage this would be a big problem so you don't need you don't want this to happen okay so let me delete everything real quick now to remove this issue what I'm trying to do that I would show some sort of warning well uh, if the user click the button again saying that the uh, uploading in progress or something like that so that even if the user tried to tap the button more than once it wouldn't upload the Image and instead of that, it would show a toast or a warning or, or something like that uh, to inform the user that the file is being uploaded. Please be patient. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, 
for that um, Okay, now whenever I click listener, we will show a toast saying that the uploading in progress. Uh, if the user is trying to tap the upload button more than once, or while the uploading is in progress. Okay, this is the code for that. Feel free to pause. If you're having any doubts, uh, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below because I'm going very quick with this video because otherwise it will be a long video I don't want that to happen and that's why I'm moving really quick so if you are uh, having any doubts feel free to uh, write them down in the comment section so that I can get and so that I can reply you with the solution okay now you can see that when I try to tap the button again it, it is showing upload in progress toast and that will prevent the file from being uploaded more than once. And let's try another one. Okay, now you can see the upload in progress. Toast is showing right there. Okay, now image has been uploaded successfully. All right, now let's head back to our storage. Now you can see that only two images have been uploaded even though we have uh, tapped the button multiple times so that was the problem and now it has been resolved so thank you very much for sticking around and i'll see you again later